Hello, Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm Maurice, and in this video, I will show you the correct way to grip the bow. Today I'll be showing you the basic technique as there are different techniques depending on the music you are playing. Ivan Galamian, one of the most influential violin instructors of the 20th century, was among others the teacher of Itzhak Perlman. His approach to the grip is as follows. Let's try it out together. Take the bow into your left hand, the tip of the bow pointing upwards and the hair of the bow facing you. Form a circle with your right hand with the tip of your thumb sitting on your second finger. Now move your right hand towards the bow from above, opening your grip slightly in order to grasp the bow. Your thumb is now touching the stick of the bow as well as the pad with the left side of your thumb tip. The right side of your thumb tip is sitting on the frog of the bow. Its position remains opposite the second finger. Be careful that your thumb does not end up in the gap of the frog and that it doesn't peek out on the other side of the stick of the bow. Make sure your thumb remains curved. Now place your second finger opposite your thumb, curving it slightly over the stick while touching the stick gently with the top joint of your finger. Place your third finger next to your second finger, resting it on the frog. Set your fourth finger fairly close to your third finger on top of the stick. However, be careful not to place your finger on the topmost position of the octagonal stick, but place it one space further towards you. This way your fourth finger cannot slip out of position and it can take on the great responsibility of carrying the stick's weight. Choose the distance between your fourth and your third finger so that the joints of your fourth finger are in a slightly curved position. Now set your first finger onto the stick at a slight distance to your second finger. Make sure it touches at the second joint. And there it is, the basic grip of the bow. All four fingers are sitting on the bow with a natural distance to one another. The only exception is the first finger, which can sit a bit further away from the second finger. In this position, the fingers cover a larger part of the bow and help control it better. If your fingers are spread too far apart, your hand can cramp up. However, if placed too closely together, they cannot control the bow. The grip of the bow may vary, however, depending on the dynamics of the music, the bowing techniques, or the tone quality. Let me give you two examples. When playing a loud piece of music or a loud section of a piece of music, add tension to your fingers and place them further apart. Here is how that sounds. When playing a soft, gentle melody, loosen your fingers, place them closer together, more as if they were in their natural position to one another. So there isn't just one, but various ways of gripping the bow. In addition, every grip will look different because every hand has its unique shape. The most important thing is that every single finger, including the thumb, is completely relaxed and loose when gripping the bow. Try imagining them as small springs or shock absorbers. This is the only way to get a round and full tone. Be careful not to squeeze your fingers together as this generates an unnatural tension. Simon Fisher, one of the important violin instructors of our time, begins his grip and the natural positioning of the fingers by simply letting the hand hang loose. Give your hand a little shake to get it really loose. Then, place your fingers on the bow. An impeccable grip must be relaxed. All fingers need to be curved in a natural and loose way. Not a single joint can be tense. If you have any questions, ask Mr. Maurer.